Twitter. Were you the first European tour pro to turn to Twitter? I, I'm not sure actually. Um, there's been a lot of guys doing it, obviously, and um, I've been doing it now for a couple of years and having, you know, certainly a lot of fun with it and letting everybody from the outside world look in. Who's your favourite tour pro sparring partner on there? Uh, we got a few right now. I think yeah. West is a good one. Uh, McElroy, um, G Mac. How much stick can you give without it? crossing the boundary? I don't think there is a boundary to be honest. No? Uh, I think there's nice banter between every uh, every player on there and I think that's um, that's the nice thing for, for us to be able to have that kind of you know that that level of banter and that level of friendship where we're good enough friends that we can do that. Has there been anything that's stuck a bit for you or have you managed to brush it off? No I mean it's uh, it's uh, Twitter's Twitter it's there for a reason it's uh, uh, people can, you know, people can have a look in, and they can uh, they can voice their opinions and reply to my tweets, and you know, I'll keep posting. Who's been your most surprising follower? Um, I don't know. I haven't no. really looked into. I mean, I've got a lot of followers, so I haven't really sat down to think. Famous person from another field. Or? Sure. I mean, there's you know, uh, there, there's a couple of F1 drivers. There's um, you know, there's some, you know, some other celebrities, but it's, it, you know, and some Arsenal football players. It's nice to have that mix. Yeah. You know, they're obviously interested in, in what I have to say, and I'm interested in, in what they've got to say. So it's kind of cool. Have you ever tweeted anything that you've later at least partially regretted? Or? Uh, no, not really. I think no. it's all a, it's all a learning curve. Um, I don't like to say I've got any any regrets or any of that. Obviously, I've said some controversial things, but that is that's that's me. How often are you able to answer questions from fans directly via Twitter? Uh, I do a few. I don't do as many as I did in the early stages. I try and do a Q and A um, every now and then, um, but it's obviously it's quite difficult. You know, you you open up a Q and A to 1.2 million people. It's quite hard, you know. It's quite hard to kind of yeah. satisfy all of them. So, um, I, you know, I try and do it every now and then. And where's your most likely tweeting place? The airport or at home? Could be anywhere. Move. Could be absolutely anywhere. You're all high tech up. I've done it on the aeroplane. I've, I mean, I've, yeah, I've tweeted everywhere. I mean, it, it, it could be, uh, it could be in the players' lounge. Could be in the locker room. Could be sitting at home on the sofa. I, could, I mean, it could be at a concert. Could, it could be anywhere. Basketball game. Anyway. Always on the go. Always.